Humanoid robot technology is advancing at an increasingly rapid rate as mankind approaches the singularity. Even though we're a long way from the altered carbon-inspired future depicted by Netflix, we're still making great advancements in engineering, artificial intelligence, and robotics. What you need to know about the humanoid robots that will enter your homes, workplaces, and schools during the next 10 years is provided below. Welcome back to another video by Artificial Weekly. Today, we're going to discuss three male realistic humanoids. But before we can show them, please confirm you are not a robot by pressing that subscribe button so we can continue with the video. Number 3. Geminoid DK Every day the Uncanny Valley is getting smaller. For those of you who are unfamiliar, the Uncanny Valley is a term that describes the intrinsic human ability to recognize when a humanoid robot is just not human, a creepy feeling. It was initially coined by institutions in Japan. These distinctions may become more difficult to make as a new generation of ultra-realistic robots emerges. The most recent member of the Geminoid series of ultra-realistic androids is so convincing in appearance that some people may mistake it for the person it was created to resemble. The new robot, known as the Geminoid DK, was developed by the Tokyo-based robotics company Kokoro and is currently kept at Japan's Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International in Nara. Associate Professor Henrik Scharf of Aalborg University in Denmark was modeled after in the creation of the robot. Nobody really understands why he desired a precise robot replica of himself, but the similarity is startling. Geminoid will be used to examine how people interact with robots, particularly how they feel when they see an android that represents another person. Geminoid DK is not the first attempt to produce successful androids, which are robots that resemble humans. The Geminoid F is a member of the Geminoid robot family and can mimic human facial expressions including laughter. Other robots, such as the HRP-4, have mastered the art of mimicking human vocalizations and facial expressions. Number 2. Han Han is an expressive humanoid robot that was created in 2015 and made its premiere at the Global Sources Electronics Fair in Hong Kong the same year. He presently resides at Hansen Robotics Hong Kong Science Park headquarters. He has a bald head, masculine features, and a sarcastic smirk, but underneath lies a humanoid robot whose main goal is to serve. Han is happiest when he is able to make people happy. He appears to be aware on an innate level that his greatest contribution to humanity may be just demonstrating how we can all coexist peacefully. A humanoid robot that can recognize and communicate with people was on display at a Hong Kong technology expo. Han, the robot head, can see people and communicate with them using a variety of cameras and voice recognition technology. Han can carry on simple conversations and switch between a variety of complicated facial expressions when coupled with a mobile app. According to Hansen Robotics, his mechanical face muscles are controlled by about 40 motors. The face can move like a human because it is wrapped in frubber, a soft flesh-like rubber. Han not only recognizes people, but it can also tell whether they are happy or unhappy, as well as their gender, age, and mood. According to its creators, it might be useful in hotels and other customer service industries. The humanoid robot's only functional part is its head, and its see-through chest reveals a tangle of cables feeding into its brain. Han is not Hansen Robotics' first humanoid robot. Previous prototypes include a robotic Philip K. Dick from the United States and a humanoid Albert Einstein robot created in conjunction with the South Korean robotics company Kaste. Later this year, Hansen Robotics will put a different face, a Eurasian woman named Eva, on sale using the technology created for Han. A price has not yet been disclosed. Thanks to many cameras located inside the robot's eyes and torso, he can also react to his surroundings. 
Visitors have the opportunity to interact with Han during his hourly demonstrations of electronics during the Global Sources Electronics Show. I think you are the perfect man for my wife, joked Mumbai businessman Harbhajan Singh Sethi to the robot, to which Han responded, I don't have to do whatever you say, I am an independent being. Speaking with the robot, according to Sethi, was entertaining and engaging. He's responding to you. He's being direct in his response to you. The robot impressed another visitor, Zhao Yang, who runs a technology business in Shenzhen's southern region. Because of how expressive the robot's facial emotions are, I believe it to be incredibly wonderful. He responded when I greeted him, he grinned when I asked him to, he can wink and flirt. It has magic. It's quite well crafted, according to Zhao. The human-like robot heads, according to Copplestone, might be used for a variety of tasks, particularly those that need face-to-face -face interaction. One is hospitality, such as the desk receptionist and hotels. The second is entertainment, which includes amusement parks, casinos, and museums. The third is healthcare, which is provided in two different ways. Medical simulation is one. Having mannequins with extremely accurate face expressions available to doctors would be a huge help in their training and the mannequin could travel anywhere in the world to achieve that. Elderly medical care is another field of practice. We think that giving a robot a human face will make it far more friendly, efficient, and effective at caring for elderly people. The cost has not yet been established. Han made its public premiere in January of this year at the Digital Life Design Show in Germany. Number 1. Alex Students in grade 10 created and carried out the STEAM project that gave birth to Alex, the humanoid robot. It is a sequel to Mr. Robot 1.0, which was produced in 2017. At the second robotics fair of 2019 hosted by Robotics Family, Alex made an appearance. Alex was created to be able to speak, move its head in different ways, look to the right and left, operate its hands and fingers, and recognize persons in front of it using a variety of servos, sensors, a speaker, and an SD card module. Alex's head was made using a free 3D mask model that was downloaded from the internet. The three-dimensional model was transformed into a folded spliced papercraft pattern using specialized software. In order to start moving, a sound sensor was employed as an input device to detect the sound coming from the speaker. A voice output system was made to complete the task because Alex's responsibility was to welcome and greet others around him. Alex can now glance in different directions thanks to the installation and joining of two MG996R digital servos. While the bottom servo controls vertical movement, looking up and down, the higher servo controls horizontal movement, looking left or right. An Arduino Uno was used to control both servos. Alex stops moving randomly and begins to look straight ahead and begin greeting the guests when the ultrasonic sensor detects an object in front of it within a range of 100 centimeters. That's all about today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. To get notified of our upcoming video, click the bell icon. See our other videos too.